Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and welcome back to Nice. This is pretty much my go-to flight from Nice to Genoa. So we're going to be heading east along the Mediterranean coast. We've got real-time weather and real-time turned on. So what you see is current, well apparently current weather in Nice. So let's get this uh, thing started. set the parking brake and uh, the fuel selector is set to both and the fuel uh, connected to the engine which is always a good start just remember exactly how we're doing this I think you can actually keep the throttle all the way out and it will still start Let's get the fuel pump. Now let's get the engine started. Let's get it, uh, the mixture all the way out. Mixture full rich. So we've got the aircraft started. Should have turned the beacon on. The avionics turned on if I can hit the if I can hit the right switch. I don't know how to turn off the tooltips. I don't know if that's actually possible. So I kind of stuck there. I've got I like these instrument uh, views, but I don't like the fact that you can't. Well, by default, tracker isn't disabled when you use them it's got a full flight plan already input which is a tremendous thing set it to gps i think we've got everything covered there see i'd like track ar to be disabled in these views you, um, you can manually do that but i find when you disable track ir after a while the view will just completely change anyway atc open there you go, voice of tank. ATC2. Okay, I've done that because when you take off, I want to be hands free. I'm expecting 2 knots at 270. Visual runway 22 right okay, at visual so runway 22 left in use. The clouds at 12,300 won't really bother us. All aircraft read back hold short instruction. Let's submit to 2980. Zoom in. Nice airport information, Charlie. So we're taking off from 222 to right. So just confirm on the decimal eight eight. ATC one. ATC one. ATC three. Nice tower, Cessna Golf. November nice Oscar Victor Alpha ready to copy IFR clearance to Genoa. I agree if they got that right. To the left. Take off runway two two left climb and maintain five thousand feet. Departure frequency is one two zero decimal eight five squawk zero zero six six. ATC one. Cessna Golf, November Oscar Victor Alpha cleared to Genoa Airport as filed. Take off runway two two left climb. Now the autopilot is kind of a mix between explains stock and the airfoil labs because you've got attitude pre-select but 
it doesn't work it's an operative ATC free nice ground Cessna Golf November Oscar Victor Alpha with Charlie ready to taxi IFR I don't think we'll need a pushback Cessna Golf November Oscar Victor Alpha taxi I've to put the um, path for taxi. I can't remember what it's called. But I've put the, I've set the path to. There you go. I wish it was a bit less. Well, a bit less in your face. ATC one. But it is what it is. Okay. I think we've got all that. ATC close. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Just want to make sure that the flaps are up. Okay, what have we got? Trim set to. These fine trims are a little bit laggy. See, I have these weird situations where it will just jump out of that position. I mean, I know sometimes it's just down ahead where you place your head. But that's why. Well, I mean, even after kind of disabling track error, it can still do that. Anyway, weird things. Okay, I'm used to just taking off the parking brake while pressing on the tow brakes, but never mind. I think we've got it all covered. The taxi light on. The strobe's on in a little while. Unless it, uh, one more thing I need to do. Because this isn't completely implemented. It's a nice unit and it, it never gets implemented properly or completely for that matter. Or for want of a better word. Um, let's light up the panel a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit dim. The time is, in fact, let's uh, 1730. So, I think this is UT, yeah. So, we're into the early day. And let's, uh, so let's get this started. It seems to need quite a bit of power. To actually get it moving. The RPM is way higher than what I'd like it to be. ATC open. Oscar, Victor Alpha, continue taxi. ATC one. Roger Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha. It takes a lot of power to get it moving. I don't know what happened there. So I, ha I have AI traffic set up rather than live traffic. I just want to see what the AI traffic is doing. I actually run through this couple of nights ago did it in the dark I think actually flight sim had zero of my settings because I thought everything looked a little bit lower resolution and I think without me realizing it it had zero of my settings so hopefully it's going to look a little bit better this time again ground speed is running away from us Let's just get that ground speed back on. 15 knots. Which is the maximum you want to be taxiing. See, it's a little bit difficult to make these turns when the speed gets up, but... I just find it a little bit odd. How it kind of just accelerates so quickly. The rolling friction just doesn't seem to be right. At 11 knots. I don't like making turns above 10 knots. So if you don't know where the ground speed is, if you look at the top Garmin, 
in the bottom left hand corner there's a GPS and then to the right and above it you'll see 10 well now 11 and that's your ground speed 12 so it picks up speed pretty quickly ATC off I should say ATC close ATC close there you go it's pretty forgiving actually I was really surprised how quickly it picked up voice yeah we're taxing a bit too quick again see it really picks up speed and I don't see that being realistic let's just apply a bit of brake get the speed down a little bit again making these turns is so much more difficult Let's not rock it across. 11 knots. Player traffic seems to be a bit erratic, so I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be all that keen have other players active. Yeah. I think it's not I'm not sure if that's no that's not the runway is it I can't really see from this position is that a whole short position there I think it is So yeah, I did this a couple of nights ago. I want to just see if there's any real differences. Looks like it's a turn to the left. ATC open. ATC one. ATC three. Just get this. Nice tower, Cessna Golf. November Oscar Victor Alpha at runway 22 left ready for takeoff IFR to Genoa. Cessna Golf. November Oscar Victor Alpha cleared for takeoff runway 22 left. ATC 1. Cleared for takeoff runway 22 left Cessna Golf. November Oscar Victor Alpha. ATC close. It needs a lot of power to get rolling. I'm used to needing about eight eight hundred RPM. Where are we, where are we going here? This is the problem you have with these big airports. It's really easy to get lost. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there you go. Obviously. That's a good thing about setting the heading bug to the runway heading. Avoids any confusion. Not going to use any flaps. Think got everything covered. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Wait a second, of course I'm missing something. Yeah, so now we're broadcasting, which is always a good thing. Autopilot is going to kick in. See, there's our route. It's going to fly up to 1,000 feet. What is airport elevation? I forgot to uh, check that out. Anyway, let's keep it simple for now. Familiar kick to the left. And first applying power, gradually feed the power in. Got plenty of runway. Try to keep it straight. 
and climb. She's using that right, right uh, rudder to keep it straight. And nose down a little bit so we can pick up speed for the best climb rate. stick a little bit, let's get that speed down to 80. I'm waiting for force feedback for my uh, MS Sidewinder stick. Need more feedback on trim. Oscar, oh, right on ATC open? ATC 1. Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha. ATC one. ATC one. Marseille Center Cessna Golf. November Oscar Victor oh, Alpha is climbing bright. through 800 feet for 5,000 feet. Cessna Golf. November Oscar Victor Alpha Marseille Center continue as planned. Altimeter 29er decimal 88. ATC close. Let's see if I can uh, Is that gonna work? Let's see if it sticks at a 500 FPM climb. I'm making the required. It looks like it's doing it. Going to one, two, four, decimal, five, generically, Missoula, Thanks West. a little bit steeper than a long. There you go. Doesn't that look nice? Where are we going here now? Completely in the hands of the autopilot. Yeah, looks like we're following it fine. A little bit jammed up there. There's a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, that's a, a takeoff from Nice. Clouds are set to ultra. Windscreen set to ultra as well. And getting about 30 to 40 FPS. There's always obligatory mention of hardware, six seven hundred K. CPU and 1070 video card. Let's just put it back on the power a little bit. Look at leaning the mixture. Five for now. Okay, so we'll climb up to five thousand. And so now we get the chance to look around a little bit. You've got to say it does look terrific. It does look fantastic. The great thing about it is we well, there's a lot of good things about it. One is that we have three D volumetric clouds. I'm really impressed by the clouds. If you come from if you're coming from X Plane Eleven. With X Enviro, you'll know how awesome those clouds are. I've not seen any glitches yet, but to do it in the frames that they're doing it is, is it just. I don't know what words I use to describe how great a job they've done on that. When I was looking at 38 FPS on moderate clouds and 34 at uh, with stormy weather and stormy weather is unbelievable now to compare that to explain 11 if i went through a storm in, in explain 11 i would be down to 15 fps right down to 15 fps so to lose four frames when the clouds get that detailed and there's so much going on that is pretty incredible atc open 
ATC open. ATC closed. Wasn't sure if he was talking to us there. That's the problem with talking and listening. Now for those people complaining about the price, remember also we have built-in AI traffic. If you want 3D volumetric clouds and AI traffic in x 11, I mean a decent amount of traffic and you know, proper routes, you've got to buy two add-ons for that and both of them are, you know, it's about a, between them, it's, it's about another hundred dollars. And then you have all, all the time and trouble of setting up all four scenery so you know there's an awful lot of expense and time in getting close to this and this just looks better and has better frame rates the question is you know is it worth sticking with X plane 11 and, and some people are asking that question I think if you're doing airliners then probably yes there are it's going to be a few patches before, or probably, probably be a few patches before Flight Sim gets to that level and has all the bugs ironed out. But when it does reach that level, and when you do get study level aircraft released for it, I don't see why you do explain 11. For me, I have no intention really to go back to explain 11 at this point because this does what I like to do much better. Ultimately, um, you could ask the question, is x -plane dead? I think you have to divide it between x -plane 11 and x -plane. For me, I don't see any reason to go back to x -plane 11. x -plane 12, well, however you look at it, x -plane 12 ha now has the, well, Laminar now have the incentive to make sure that x -plane 12 is so much better than x -plane 11. Not just in terms of features, but also in terms of um, frame rates and, and performance in general. So almost get almost at five thousand already. This is the hot, difficult part of of not having altitude pre-select. You have to keep monitoring your altitude, but it's it's doing pretty good so far. I just like to have the altitude. Pre, uh, the, I'd like to have the altitude pre-select available. So yeah, for me, I mean, I. It'll be interesting to see what they do with x 12, but they really have been set a real challenge here, and it's going to be difficult for them to meet it. So, yeah, it'll be fascinating to see what they do. They've got to really raise their game, and I don't know whether they have the resources to raise the game up to this sort of level. MSFS has its issues, but it's one heck of a good sim, and it's even now, even so early in its in its life, it's still an awesome flight sim. I'm convinced with this uh, leaning the engine it doesn't seem to have quite the effect. I don't know, I think maybe leaning the engine needs a bit of work, to be honest. I'm not sure, I'm not getting the feedback there that I would normally expect, but you know, we'll see what happens with that. So, yeah, uh, this is an awesome flight sim, and it has awesome potential to be so much better than it already is. It, it's, you know, it has its issues, it has its problems. I'm not denying that. Here we go, we're close to 5,000. But it, it's just an awesome sim, but as it stands right now, and we're just really fortunate to have it. Auto, uh, the uh, ATC is a little bit odd, um, but then that's kind of standard for flight sims. Um, at least the, uh, the, the stock. ATC. I'm going to have to descend from 5,000 to 4,500 close to the initial approach fix and it doesn't like deviation from the 5,000. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, isn't that absolutely stunning? I came out of here at night and there were quite a few planes active. 
gone down to AI traffic and it's 70, everything's set to 75%. I'm not seeing anything at the moment. But, you know, that's what I want out of a flight sim. Look at that. Look at the shadows. That's what I want out of a flight sim. I want good weather. I want AI traffic. I want good scenery. And I have to say, with world traffic, that was a pain to set up and a pain to... Uh, it was a pain to keep it going, maintain it. And there was a talk about pilot to ATC, which never seemed to pan out for whatever reason. Well, that's just beautiful. So where it really shines is in bad weather. If you look at the if you look at the external views in bad weather, where when there's a lot of rain, that just looks like a picture. It looks like a video. It doesn't look like a sim. It just looks that good. So yeah, we is it holding five thousand? Yeah, it is. So if you're into GA, this is a terrific sim. I would highly recommend it. Yes, there are issues, and yes, you need a powerful PC to really get the most out of it. But absolutely, I'd recommend it. I know people are, ha are having issues with it of one sort or another. Personally, it's worked fine for me. I've not had any, well, you know, I've had m some minor issues. I've not had a CTD yet. Just sometimes I launch it on the desktop and it will crash. It won't even start. Just keep trying until it works. But then it, it usually works on the second attempt. Other than that, it's really been solid. I've, I've been pleasantly surprised by it. Yes, it, it could benefit from six months of patching, but would you want to wait six months? It's been perfectly great shape for me as it is, 16C. So I'm enjoying it. I'm just loving it. It's. I always find if something's awkward and difficult to do, you tend not to do it. And Explain 11 often was awkward and difficult. And sometimes it was a downright pain in the neck. This just feels a lot easier to deal with. So that's the encouragement for me to keep using it and to use it a lot more than I was flying x -Plane, to be honest. x -Plane 11, just, you know, when you planned a route, you had to use Simbrief or um, Little Nav Map or, you know, something like that. And, this it's all built into it. It's like they've looked at the flights in market and what they've done is they've, they've kind of picked all the great things, all the plugins that we like and they've just bundled it into the sim itself. So I have a lot of admiration from for the developers. I, th I think they've done a terrific job. I fully expect them to stick with it and stay behind it and continue working on it and fixing issues. Apparently there's a, the first patch will be up in a few days. Everything that they've said leads me to believe that they are a good company and we should get behind them and encourage them. And I hope we all do that. Because we have, these are really, these are times that don't come along all that often in gaming, let alone in flight simming, and we should embrace that and be excited by it. So with that said, I'm going to end the first part of the video here and we will continue when we get closer to Genoa and we start to make our approach. And welcome back. We are heading towards, well, we're not exactly heading towards Genoa, but we are a million miles from that. In fact, we need to begin our descent down to 4,500. I'm going to do that by the time we reach the wrap. And that's telling me it's in two miles. I doubt it's actually two miles, but that garment just is hard. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with it. It's telling me we're two miles from the wrap, but, but clearly we're not.
unless you're talking about the point to point distance but even then that doesn't work so yeah there's something unless I'm reading it completely wrong which is entirely possible close to all that we've got low fuel left and right it's not a big deal with fine but yeah that, I'm not quite sure how it's reading that anyway we're not a million miles away from see the red light on top of that feature that's just a, a hazard we need to be aware of we're supposed to be down at 4500 Biver racks I'm going to play it safe and do it here Again, I'm not sure what's going on with the garment. Yeah, yeah. ATC open. See, that's the problem I've got. But there you go. ATC one. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha. ATC close. So it will continue. ATC close. So it's going to continue to complain about that, but I want to be down well in advance and again I'm, I'm kind of puzzled by that Garmin I'm not sure what's going on with that but yeah for the wrap we need to be down at 4,500 and then we need to descend down to 3,370 feet so yeah you might have noticed it's got a little dark the stars have come out that's some absolutely amazing views on route, we're going to be turning on to final in a little while. We've just got this turn to the wrap, and at uh, D10, 10 miles in general. You know, sorry, not going to happen. Then we're going to then we're going to uh, a little while before we get to the wrap. So the final approach fix is 10 miles out. We're already tuned to iOS to the localizer, which is offset a little bit, so we're going to be a little bit to the right of the runway. That's to be expected. A bit of stutters there. I think that's just loading in Genoa, basically. And of course, then it starts getting busy. We've got plenty of fuel for this, even though we have those fuel warnings. It's not going to be an issue, so we're turning. Yeah, there you go. See if I can pull off a decent landing. See it once we hit the wrap. I don't think it really recognises where you should be in terms of altitude. It's confusing me a little bit that Garmin. So we're coming up to the wrap, once we're over wrap, we will make the descent to 3300 to the guard slope. Yeah, I think this is it. Becoming active. I'm not sure if the localizer is active. We're not hearing any signal. One. Hold on a minute, you. You just. This is Chains with Park. For whatever reason, there you go. Just as well, I recheck that because it switched it back. Can we check where we are again? I'm a little bit. Okay, we're coming up to the wrap. Yeah, that changed it. I, I set the localizer just as well because I had that turned on for the Morse. Now you can hear the Morse. That's a bit sneaky. That absolutely changed it because I've set the localizer course and it's changed it completely. Completely wiped the number. Got a lot of turbulence.
Let's see if I can get the view right. 1.2, it seems all over the place with the distances and time. Hopefully they're going to get that sorted out before too long. I can hit the button. Keeps holding, on not you? I need to descend. It just... Why does it keep doing that? See, this is the problem I have with it. It keeps doing this, it keeps... It's, it's holding on to this altitude, it won't be changing. There you go, thank you. Right. So that was a bit of a struggle, not completely unnecessary. Thank you. ATC open. ATC one. ATC close. ATC open. ATC one. ATC one. ATC one. Tower Cessna Golf, November Oscar Victor Alpha one four miles. Watch that one so. ILS Yankee runway two eight approach. Cessna Golf, November Oscar Victor Alpha Tower. Clear ILS Yankee runway two eight approach. Altimeter two nine decimal eight six wind zero one two at seven. ATC one. Cleared ILS Yankee runway two eight approach Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha. ATC close. So we've got a little bit of a crosswind. ATC open. It's not not me. Anyway, ATC close. Yeah. Screwy here as it kind of makes this big turn. It makes these dramatic turns, but see there you see the navigation light down the top of that uh, mini mountain. ATC close. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Back off the power. Need to start getting some flaps engaged. That airspeed. Okay, we're on glide slope on localizer. See, it's a little bit offset to the right. That's to be expected. That's documented. It's not a bug. Field is looking fine. Once we get closer, I'll switch off the autopilot and land it manually. again. I had visions of actually actually having to manually fly all that and descend because it just wouldn't let me uh, for whatever reason it just would not let me set a descent. It was determined to hold that altitude. In case we're in flap operating range now.
it's not just the first stage, but it's the second. I'm sure. Yeah. I just wanted one stage. It wasn't giving me that one stage. Sometimes the controls just seem a little bit laggy. It doesn't seem to take the first time. In fact, when I started this, I didn't think the pause was working because every time I pressed it, I wasn't getting a pause out of it. But it was just lagging. Keep on glide slope, speed is good. 75, I'm happy with that. Second stage of flaps. See, it just lags a little bit. I have to kind of hold it down a little bit. Let's see open. ATC one. So seven knot wind. A little bit of a crosswind. Coming from the right. Pretty much dead on right, I think. ATC one. Clear to oh, land runway two eight Cessna Oscar ATC Victor Alpha. Alpha. Power is slowing down a bit more than I want to. Okay, now we've got a good visual. Let's see, hopefully I'm not gonna mess this up. So we've got two whites, two reds. One heck of an approach. Let's just back off on the autopilot. Let's get ourselves lined up correctly. Let's get back on glide slope. It's a little bit tricky to line up. I think this is the hardest part of any landing, actually lining up a little bit to the left. Not too far above glide, so we've got plenty of runway, so it's no big an issue. Not that big of an issue. It's not calamitous. Now we're below glides up a little bit. Overcompensated. Still looks like we're getting two, two whites and two reds, I think. So it's not too bad. Yeah, a little bit too low. Speed is good. So it looks like we're getting one white and three red, so a little bit low. I think we're fine for landing now. A little bit of a crosswind, so we're going to have to be careful here. There's a bit of lift. Fine with the. So it's still a little bit low, but not bad. So we've got one white. Oh, now we really are too low. A little bit of a crosswind, so seven knots. So I've got to be careful. Not really that low. It's gone a bit too far to the right, overcompensated for the crosswind. That's much better. Well, at least we're not going to be low. Let's judge this flare. There you 
go. That's nice. Quite happy with that. The difficulty here is that it's not going to be easy to spot. The turn-offs, because the turn-off lights just aren't Alpha, there. Victor, Alpha, turn. Next see, I didn't see... Well, now... Now it's showing me that. See, the, the, there are no lights indicating it. Or should I say the... Uh, the directions just aren't really there. really tough to see. I want to turn on the landing light or the taxi light but it's not clean Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha exit runway when able. Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha contact ground on 118 decimal six. Just going to bring it to a stop when I get to uh, just past these hold shows. Look like they're coming up right now. Hold it there. ATC open. ATC one. One one eight decimal six Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha. Strobes off. ATC three. Ground Cessna Golf. November Oscar Victor Alpha taxi to parking. November Oscar Victor Alpha taxi to General Aviation parking using Taxiway Alpha. ATC1. Taxiing to General Aviation parking via Taxiway Alpha Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha. ATC close. So that is a... Uh, is, uh, oh, I could call that the maiden flight. Let's call it the maiden flight in MSFS because it is really the kind of the maiden flight. I mean I've done this as a practice run but yeah this is the first proper flight. Quite happy with that. The final approach was a bit botched. Didn't get that exactly how I would have liked. But uh, there's a little bit to do on that approach because obviously it's offset so the great thing about an iOS approach is it's generally going to line you up right down centre line so it makes your life a lot easier but with an offset you kind of lose that going a bit fast we shouldn't be exceeding 15 knots ground speed but we are indeed exceeding it need to slow this down for this turn the great thing about track however is you can just lift yourself up a little bit to get a proper view you want to be able to see the engine cowling on approach just as a reference point yeah it's, it's also interesting coming into land at night and judging the flare just adds a little bit of extra complexity and of course with all that going on we don't get time to admire the scenery if you followed my ATS and ETS series, you know, every time I stop to admire the scenery, I just kind of weave across the road. It's kind of the same here, just with a taxiway instead of a road. A bit too slow now. But those uh, clouds all the way along, have been, and just the sky colouring have been really impressive. I've not seen much in the way of air traffic, but we have seen a little bit. And yeah, not a CTD. Certainly a glitch with reducing altitude. That was uh, an odd bit of ATC behaviour. Or not ATC behaviour, autopilot behaviour. But other than that, I think it's been a pretty smooth ride all the way from Nice to Genoa and a beautiful part of the world this will be stock this will not be 
a faithful one-to-one -one representation of just backing off the pass if it were kind of stick about 10. It will not be a, f a faithful representation of the, air c the uh, airport, but you know, pretty good at even for stock. See, we're losing. I don't know, I just get the feeling we should be losing ground speed a bit quicker than it bleeds off, to be honest. Maybe it's one of those things that will get attention over time. Leaning the mixture just doesn't seem, it, that doesn't seem right to me. It just doesn't feel right. Maybe, you know, people with uh, real world experience of 172 would know better. Really? Is he asking me to stop for this ATC open? ATC 1. Hold position Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha. Is he going? I don't think it's going to move to be honest. I think he's me to move. ATC close. I'm just going to have to wander around it. You think airport vehicles would kind of know not to go anywhere near the taxi routes? They have the taxi routes, do. There needs to be better routes for that. Yeah, I know. Continuing to taxi. Okay, let's just roll it in. Cessna Oscar Victor Alpha acknowledge last transmission. ATC open. ATC one. Roger Cessna Oscar Victor. Don't it, dude? We've got those, those obtrusive arrows. Get rid of this. Yeah, thank you. Can I get that to? So yeah, here we are. Everything's gone dark suddenly. ATC close. And let's just bring this to a conclusion. There you go. Let's continue. So, hope you enjoyed that flight from Nice to Genoa. And I uh, hope to see you again for the next one. And as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.